very good afternoon dear children how are you all yes of course you all are, must be doing fine right so dear children i found that on facebook page i was not audible to you properly so today i am trying here on youtube channel i hope i am audible to you now am i audible properly here beta yes okay so today we are going to start with the supplementary reader or an alien hands first chapter the tiny teacher right the name of the book is an alien hand and your first chapter is the tiny teacher right teacher you must have heard many a time right teacher plays an important role in your life you all know about it but tell me uh, first whom we call teacher what do you think who are teachers yes of course who teaches us are called teacher but here tiny teacher right the tiny teacher whom we are calling tiny teacher tiny is what very small teacher you all are very familiar with that tiny teacher i'm showing you the picture yes an aunt right so here an aunt is a tiny teacher and we are going to read about aunt in this chapter at how aunt teaches us about sense of duty discipline and loyalty to the motherland right we will try to learn all these things from this tiny teacher before we start with the chapter beta let's do some keywords related to the chapter you all must uh, carry your notebooks and your pencils or pens with you and note down them in your notebook now unbelievably first one is unbelievably that is surprisingly aunt hill is nest of aunts nurseries rooms meant for small babies right reserved is secured quarters houses or home quarters you call houses right so there are few words which you are familiar with them already barracks houses of soldiers grub is baby aunt cocoon a silky case spun by the larva of many insects for protection right you must have seen also cocoon seldom sometimes drawn male art so what we call a male art drawn right so let's move to your basic knowledge let's find out how much you know about ants first one from where will you get knowledge from where will you get knowledge answer it quickly yes children write your comment in the comment box from where will you get knowledge yes good we get knowledge from books net elders and teachers so there are very various sources through which you get the knowledge right now let's move to the question second what do you learn from teachers 
though you are having different means of knowledge but what do you learn from teachers yes we learn good things moral values etc right so you learn so many things from your teachers such as good things moral values etc have you ever thought of learning from aunt yes very good no we never thought of learning from aunt of course though we had observed them many a time but we never thought of this that we can learn from aunt right because it's a very tiny creature but today we are going to learn from aunt through our chapter right so let's start with our with our chapter the tiny teacher look at these sentences important some important sentences are given here though so very small the aunt is unbelievably intelligent and hard working right among the various kinds the commonest aunt is black or red aunts live in comfortable homes called aunt hills right so very uh, interesting and simple language is used in this chapter so let's start reading it name the smallest insect you have seen and the wisest is it the fly no it is an is it the mosquito no not the mosquito then it must be the worm no none of these it is the ant the commonest the smallest but the wisest insect the story of an ant's life sounds almost untrue but people have kept ants as pets and have watched their daily behavior closely so we know a number of facts about this tiny hard working and intelligent creature right so children our chapter of opens with the author making a catalog of the smallest insect right who is also the wise wisest insect he wonders if it is the fly the mosquito or the worm he realizes that the insect that justly fits into this category is the ant it is the most commonly found insect and the smallest and the wisest of course so the author seems impressed by the story of ant's life and he is analyzing it right let's see what is he trying to analyze an ant uses its feelers or antenna right you can call feelers or antenna to talk to other ants by passing messages through them watch a row of ants moving up or down the wall each ant greets all the others coming from the opposite direction by touching their feelers look at the picture here they are touching their feelers it means they are trying to communicate something you can see in another picture here there are many kinds of ants the commonest among them are the black or red ones right so here uh, the poet is talking about and he is observing that a row of ants moving up and down the wall it becomes amply clear that ants use their antenna or feelers right 
to communicate or to talk to each other. Each art greets all the other arts coming from the opposite direction. See, look at the picture here. These are coming from opposite directions. By touching their feelers, they just communicate with each other, right? So there are many kinds of arts. The commonest among them are the black or red ones. We have seen them since we were children, but haven't paid enough attention to them. Where do they live? In their comfortable homes called nests or art hills, right? We have done it in keywords. Hope you remember. Each has hundreds of little rooms and passages, right? In some of these rooms, the queen aunt lays eggs. Others are nurseries for the young ones called drubs, right? So we have, as children, see the most common types of aunts. That is red and black aunts. Right, children? If we would have observed them closely, we would have known that ants live in comfortable homes called nest or ant hills. Some rooms of this house are used by queen ants to lay their eggs, while others are used by young ants or grubs till they grow up. Right? And workers have their, so you can see the view of Aunt Hill here. Workers have their reserved quarters. Quarter are their houses. They spend most of their time searching for food. Some rooms serve as storehouses for this food. Soldiers have separate barracks. No worker has ever tried to live in a soldier's house and no soldier has ever gone out searching for food. No worker or soldier or cleaner has ever harmed a grub. So you see an aunt's life is very peaceful and each does its share of work intelligently and bravely and never fights with other members of the group, right? There are yet other rooms that serve as storehouses for food. There are soldiers who guard the food and never go out to search for food, right? And aunts, they follow a very simple and efficient division of labor. No one interferes in another's task. Right? And no do they harm each other. Therefore, children, aunts are believed to lead a very peaceful life. Right? So, before we move to next part of this chapter, let's do some questions based on this part. This we have already done. Okay. What are art hills? Tell me now. What are art hills? Hurry up, write your answers in the comment box. What are Aunt Hills with her? Very simple. Yes. Aunt Hills are homes of aunts. Right? We have done it in keywords also. Right? Okay. Move to next question. What kind of life do the aunts live? What kind of life do the aunts live? I know you know the answer. So write down your answer. Hurry up. Yes, children. What kind of life do the aunts live?
yes of course arts liver discipline and peaceful life this is all what we have to learn from arts right okay move to next question what are grubs hurry up children what are grubs yes grubs are young ones of ants okay now you have a multiple choice question the story of an ant's life sounds almost untrue tell me the answer of this question yes children highly exaggerated too remarkable to be true not based on facts the story of an ant's life sounds almost untrue sounds almost untrue you have to find out the meaning of this phrase among these three options highly exaggerated too remarkable to be true or not based on facts yes the second one is the answer too remarkable to be true complete the following sentences right an ant is the smallest what an ant is the smallest and the wisest insect yes we know a number of facts about an ant's life because we know a number of facts about an ant's life because it is the most common insect that we have seen since our childhood good move to the next one in what ways is an ant's life peaceful do you remember we just did in the last paragraph in what ways is an ant's life peaceful answer me quickly in what ways is an ant's life peaceful yes of course an ant's life is peaceful because the ants have efficiently divided the work among themselves and do not interferes in another ant's work or harms another ant right this is i told you what we are supposed to learn from ant Okay, this is for the next part. This we have finished here. Let's move to this next part of the chapter. Right. So the queen ant has a pair of wings which she casts off before she begins to lay eggs. Right. these are the significant uh, lines or sentences you can say from this chapter eggs hatch and become grubs 
grubs change into cocoons and cocoons break to bring forth complete arts right the life of an ordinary art in the ant hill is a book which many of us seldom open right so this all we are going to read in this part so let's start with it the queen is the mother of the entire population of the colony it lives for about 15 years right it has a pair of wings but bites them off after its wedding flight this flight takes place on a hot summer day the queen leaves the nest and goes out to meet a male ant or drone i told you we call drone to a male ant who high up in the air on its return to earth it gets rid of its wings and then does nothing but lay eggs right so what our writer is trying to tell us that our queen ant's life span is about 15 years and the queen ant cast away its pair of wings after its wedding flight right and on a hot summer day the queen ant leaves its nest and goes to meet a male ant high up in the air in its return to earth it does nothing but <laughs> lay eggs right and eggs hatch and grubs come out soldiers guard them workers feed and clean them and also carry them about daily for airing exercise and sunshine two or three weeks later grubs become cocoons and lie without food or activity for three weeks more then the cocoon break and perfect ants appear now it's time for teaching and training new ants learn their duties from old ants as workers soldiers builders cleaners etc after a few weeks training the small ants are ready to go out in the big world of work so what we learn from this part beta that uh, the grubs are the ants little ones uh, which comes out of the hatch tanks and the soldiers take care of these grubs the workers and cleaners feed them and clean them the grubs take uh, almost 2 3 weeks to become cocoons and they take another 3 weeks to become perfect ants as they become perfect ants they begin to receive training from older ants and learn their duties and get ready to face the world right earlier we thought of that we human beings are very much perfect in bringing up our uh, children but see how beautifully the ants are taking care of their young ones right an ant hill is a home not only for ants but also for some other creatures who are those creatures see beetles lesser breeds of ants and the green fly why do ants want these alien creatures to live in their nests for several reasons some give off smell pleasing to the ant senses other give sweet juices and some are just pets or play things like cats and dogs to human beings surprisingly no the green fly is the ant scout the ants train it to give honey dew like milk with the touch of their antenna and they milk it just as we milk the cow 
see the grubs are the little ones which are coming out of their houses but ant hill serves as homes not only to ants but also for some other creatures and which are those creatures the beetles lesser breeds of ants and green fly and some of these creatures give sweet milk or sweet juices and some are kept as pets by the ants and these are trained the green fly to give milk to the ants so they all are having their own world like human beings have like have human learned as much as ants have perhaps they have but they haven't put their learning to good use they may still learn a few things from this tiny teacher hard work sense of duty and discipline cleanliness care for the young ones and above all a firm loyalty to the land where they live so dear children uh, there is a lot that human being can learn from the ants because they work hard and have sense of duty and discipline and they maintain cleanliness and of course look after their young ones really well right they indeed uh, could be called the tiny teachers we human being must uh, learn from them right as man has learned as much as ants have but he has not used his learning in the right manner that is the problem he still has to learn many things like hard work sense of duty discipline and loyalty to the motherland from this tiny teacher of course right now let's do the question answers based on it this we have done okay now tell how long does it take for a grub to become a complete ant how long does it take yes how long does it take for a grub to become a complete ant write down your answers hurry up yes it takes five to six weeks for a grub to become a complete ant next question why do the worker ants carry the grubs about yes the worker ants carry them about daily for airing exercise and sunshine very simple what jobs are new ants trained for what jobs are new ants trained for we have just gone through all this so tell me quickly what jobs are new ants trained for are your children yes the jobs which the new ants are trained for are workers soldiers builders cleaners etc very good name some other creatures that live in ant hills i hope you remember name some other creatures that live in ant hills Yes, come on. Good. Some other creatures that live in ant hills are beetles, 
lesser breeds of ants, green fly, etc. Very good. Move to next question. Mention three things we can learn from the tiny teacher. Give reasons for choosing these items. Okay, you just tell me three things we learn from the tiny teacher. Quickly. Write down only three things which we learn from the tiny teacher. Yes, we can learn teamwork as ants do their work by sharing and contribution without interference in the other's work. Right? So they never interfere in other's work. We can learn hard work as ants spend their most of time in doing their respective jobs without hesitation. And we can learn discipline as ants live a disciplined life and always follow the rules of their group and loyal towards it. So three things which we can learn from tiny teacher are teamwork, hard work and discipline. Okay. So complete this following poem, complete the following poem with words from the box and you may recite the poem of your own. I have given you choices in the box above. It's very simple. Soldiers live in barracks and birds in. Write down, hurry up. Much like a snake that rests in a blank again. No horse is able to sleep except in a blank. And a dog lives well. Mind you, only in a blank again. To say hi to an aunt, if you will, you may have to climb in. Again, blank we have to fill. So I have given at the end also. You are having choices. Hole, kennel, nest, aunt hill, stable. Yes, very good children. The soldiers live in barracks and birds in nests. Much like a snake that rests in a Hole. No horse is able to sleep except in a stable and a dog lives well, mind you, only in a kennel. To say hi to an aunt, if you will, you may have to climb an aunt hill. Right? Okay. How do aunts take or greet other? Yes, an aunt uses its fillers or antenna to take or greet other aunt. This is their way of communication. Which is the commonest type of aunt? Very good. The red and black are the commonest aunts. Good. Where do the aunts live? Yes. They live in their comfortable home called nest or aunt hills. Very good. Very quick. What is called an aunt's cow? Or who is sorry? Who is called an aunt's cow? Yes, the green fly is an aunt's cow. Good. How does an aunt train the green fly to give honeydew? Yes, the aunt trains them to give honeydew with the touch of their antenna. They milk it just as we milk the cow. Name some of the qualities fan art or fan art. And 
An aunt is a hardworking, intelligent, disciplined and loyal creature. Good. What is the duty of worker aunts? What is the duty of worker aunts? The worker aunts spend most of their time in searching food. Right? So now children, this is your home assignment. Write it down in your notebook. Let's write a paragraph about aunts' nature and their division of work. The second one, describe aunt homes briefly. And the final one is, who is queen aunt and how does she play an important role in the bee society? Fine, so this was your home assignment. Hope you understood the chapter very well. And all your doubts would be clear after doing this question answer session. So thank you children. Now we'll, we will meet in our next class. Till then, stay happy, stay healthy and stay home. Take care.